Marines have been neutralized. Scanning for additional threats. What's going on? Sir, stay calm, Ensign. Everyone stay calm. No threats found. The bridge is now secure. Do exactly what I say, or you're dead. Hands off the consoles. You've got our attention. I can handle this, Lieutenant. I'm Captain Revenant Orzik. I'm pretty sure I know what this is about. For the record, I take complete responsibility for my actions. I understand, Captain. If nothing else, that should make it easier on the crew. I'm glad it's worth something. You're here because of the moth, aren't you? You must want the Bental Star's passenger pretty badly. Or maybe he just hates me. The Black Talon would be destroyed chasing a battleship. I've fought in the war before and I'll fight again, but I don't do suicide missions. Suicide was deciding you could ignore your superiors. The captain's dead! The captain's dead! Shut up! You have our attention, my lord. What would you have us do? Let this be a lesson. Your only hope for survival is complete and utter loyalty. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. In accordance with Article 27A of the Imperial Code of Military Conduct, command of this vessel has been lawfully transferred. New orders are being downloaded to your consoles. Priority 1, intercept the Brental Star. For Karath, do as the droid says and prepare to jump to light speed. Emerging from hyperspace now. One Thranta-class warship on the scanners, powering up... Enemy is firing! Turbo lasers, missiles and what looks like transport pods. I'm not sure. The pods are a distraction. Return fire. Aim for their power generators. So long as they're damaged and we're not, we have the advantage. Lieutenant. Captain Silas, sir. Engineering is reporting blast of fire. They just cut out. Continue the assault. I'll deal with this. I'll notify security. And don't worry. We won't let those Republic scum get away. Secondary power systems damaged. Non-essential systems may be inoperable.
Damage reports from all decks. We're holding together, sir, but I don't know for how long. Make sure it's long enough, Ensign. Your life and career are at stake. Please, stand alert. Grand Moff Kilran's representatives have returned. Congratulations, my lord. Security reports that the sabotage droids have been destroyed. I don't need your praise, Lieutenant. Only your obedience. Oh, please. Please don't kill us! Shut up, Ensign, or I'll kill you myself. We've penetrated the Brental Star's outer defenses. Their next assault won't come until we enter fighter range. Another minute, maybe two. Transmission coming in. Long range. It's a message, but it's not from the Brental Star. I'm dying of suspense. Really. I'll patch the message through immediately. This is Jedi Grand Master Satil Shan hailing unidentified Imperial vessel. I'm en route to your location with 16 Republic vessels. I'm asking you to retreat before more lives are lost. It's a pleasure. Truly. I'm glad to hear a voice of reason. Let us end this conflict together. The Brintal Star is under my protection. Our convoy was ambushed and I sent the Star ahead. We will reunite. I just crippled three Imperial Dreadnoughts. I don't wish to destroy you. The peace between Republic and Empire is fragile enough already. Peace is a lie, Jedi. The Sith know this. I won't be drawn into a philosophical debate. Incidents like this are happening across the galaxy, but only because we let them. Leave the Brentel Star to me. If you don't, then may the Force be with you. Because the men and women aboard that ship can hold you off until we arrive. And you will be defeated. I'm pretty sure we've finished this conversation. You've made yourself clear. But I suggest you prepare to face a Jedi. And you may want to consider what that means. Entering fighter range. The Brentel Star is launching its first squadron. Alright. Now we're close enough to fly in and send a raiding party. I assume you're going. Time for you to see what a Sith can do. Before you go, you should know something. Most of the Marines will back you up, but we had to execute a few for refusing to fight. They were terrified after what happened to the Captain. They panicked. They're dead now, anyway. We did retrieve their equipment. It's yours. We're doing our very best to serve you, I swear. You're doing fine, Ensign. I'm not going to hurt you. Ignore him. I'll make sure he doesn't trouble you in the future. I advise that you proceed to the shuttle bay. The flight to the Brentall Star may be hazardous, but Grand Moth Kilran has complete faith in your abilities.
I accept all forms of currency. Thank you for your patronage. This is Protocol Unit NRO2. I hope you're receiving this message clearly, and that your flight was free of incident. Please hold for Security Coordinator Ensign Gukara. The Marines are on their way. They'll follow you in and hold each junction you secure. Try not to take too long. We're not a military ship. What you have is all you're getting. Thank you for warning me. I have been scanning the Brenton Star's communications and security forces appear to be moving to protect the escape pods. It is extremely likely that the crew is attempting to evacuate the General. You must retrieve or eliminate him before he escapes. We'll have the General before the crew knows what's happening. Excellent news. 
I will be in contact if the situation changes. Proceed to assault all defense points between you and the target. Speaking to a special forces commander, meet. Show some respect. So, you think you're tough meat? Ah! Part of me was hoping you'd try to board this ship.
Gods aren't far now. You can make it on your own, General. And what about you? I will face my destiny. Go now, my friend. Halt where you are. I am Yadira Bey, Padawan of the Jedi Order. I was sent to protect the General, and you will not pass. Surrender. Give me what I want, and your ship can survive. I cannot accept that. A Jedi does not surrender the innocent into the hands of evil. But I intend to drive you back, meter by meter if need be, just as the Republic pushed the Sith Empire into the dark of the galaxy. I don't scare that easily. I don't need to scare you, only defeat you, and that I can do. Run, or you may stand your ground, but you'll go no farther. You aren't going to win this. I swear it. going to win this. I swear it. You aren't going to win this. I swear it. Swear it. Put aside your weapons. I won't try to run. Besides, I doubt I'd make it to an escape pod without my intestines spilling out. I might just spill your intestines myself. I don't need you alive. I'm well aware of Imperial policy regarding my kind. I was a general in the Imperial Military Service. Did they tell you that when they sent you here? Did they even know? Why would you betray the Empire? If you knew what I knew, you'd understand. If you'd heard what both sides are plotting, 
You wouldn't be eager to restart this war. They're building doomsday weapons, shields that envelop planets, missiles that darken suns. Republic and Empire are planning to raise worlds, annihilate civilizations. It will be unlike anything the galaxy's seen since the great hyperspace war. And it's too late to stop it. The so-called peace is already lost. There will be bloodshed on a massive scale, and I will be part of it. At the start, yes. But you won't survive. None of us will. Oh, you have me then? Me, my stomach full of blood, and my implant full of cybernetic secrets and stolen plans. <laughs> what will you do? You're no use to me alive. So be it. We're all as good as dead anyway. This is Protocol Unit NR02. If you are receiving this message, I urge you to return to the Brentall Star as quickly as possible. Is there anything wrong? There has been an incident aboard the bridge. Your tactics have inspired... Idiots! You'll get us all damn well killed! to browse our inventory. Welcome back. I'm pleased to see that you have returned whole. I do apologize for the condition of the bridge. As I'd intended to explain earlier, there was an incident. There are corpses all over the floor. This is what you call an incident? 
Several of the crew were extremely agitated by your behavior. Ensign Hetter feared you might execute anyone who failed to contribute to the mission. A group of officers attempted to flee the ship before you returned. Lieutenant Silas objected, and a firefight broke out. There was a large number of casualties. But don't worry, I am fully capable of piloting the ship back to Dromund Kars. What's the next move? Grand Moff Kilrin is eagerly awaiting your report. Should I put him through? Go ahead. There's no sense waiting. Opening channel now. Well, how fortunate I could reach my friends aboard the Black Talon. The droid's been keeping me appraised of your work, but I very much wanted to hear from you. How did the attack go? There was a lot of bloodshed today, Kilran. I hope it was worth it. Oh, I'm quite certain it was. Blood is cheap, after all. You should be proud. This is only one of the many operations we're conducting across the galaxy. It's a new beginning to the war. The General was one of the greatest weapons the Republic had. A defector. And you've snatched him from enemy hands. I'll remember this. And I'll make sure you're rewarded. Livened up the journey. I appreciate the distraction. Ah, yes. When military strategy and Sith entertainments combine, it's surely a good day. But my words hardly matter. Soon you'll be joining us on the home world, and you can see for yourself what you've been fighting for. It should be inspiring. Enjoy the rest of your journey. Kilwin out. Scotia can wait. You're making a huge mistake, Filth. Give your master a message for me. 
My eye is on her, and I know. Tell her that. I know what she's trying to do here on Dromundkas. You and your master have gotten this far, but it ends here, slave. I alone have the key. Tell her that. You and your master have no future on Drummond Cass or in the Sith Order. Tell her that. Now, get out of my way. I think you're the one who needs to move. I would not count on it. <laughs>